Hey guys, this is Stephen Howard, my dog Rio, and Yucca. Anyway, I was just telling the story about how I stopped a robbery at a Blue Diamond uh, Target and uh, ended up divorced and uh, losing pretty much everything as a result. Um, I've been rebuilding my life for going on four years now and uh, what you see today in today's videos, you know, the new car, the new clothes. Um, I still live in my car with my two dogs. I'm still day-to-day -day broke. Uh, but I'm living a quality of life that is the same. It's, it's what, I, what I'm used to. I mean, I don't have the house and I don't have all the sporting equipment and all the things that I used to have. But what I do have is my spirit and my spirit for adventure. And uh, what I do have is my ability to continue on and make something great in my life. So, you know, when things go bad, and they go real bad, and you go all the way from where you are down to nothing, don't take it as a person, it's really hard to do, but don't take it as a personal hit. Um, so the divinely guided messages are today, as you're going through your day, Try to go through your day without judgment of people. Um, you might hear things about other people and then you'll make a judgment. You might see some actions of people and then make a judgment. And what you don't see is all of the other reasons they're doing those actions or saying those things. And so if you can start to eliminate judgment you know, judging people off appearances, off of what they drive, off of who they represent themselves to be, all of those things, and you just look at the core, uh, use your gut training and, and use, your, use your core to judge exactly who that is to you, then that, then that is... Um, that's different than judging. It's, it's like your gut feeling. So go, you know, always go with your gut and always trust your instincts because they will not lead you astray. I assure you that. Even if they do, somehow divine kind of puts you on the right course anyway. So as I'm watching the sunrise over the city and my old house down there on Black Wolf, I just want you to know that, you know, I miss certain things, but I don't long for them. I don't um, resent anyone or resent the past or resent anything that happened. Come on, this way, Rio, this way. Sorry. But uh, divine messages are, you know, coming from love and understanding coming from a place where you understand, you know, what people have been through and, uh, you know, uh, coming from, from Rio this way, Rio this way, come on, place of understanding, look at this dog run, it's amazing, super fast, Rio's, uh, Yucca's really fast too. So today is a, is a good day. I got a moving job. I think tomorrow's off, day off. So I'm going to be working on some stuff. I might go climbing. My uh, I don't know if you can see it. My stitches are getting healed up pretty good. And they're, they've been, I pulled them out. So I'm just waiting for the outer skin to close and do its job. Boy, what a massive cut that was on my hand. Uh, I've never done that before like that, and I hopefully won't ever do that again. Anyway, uh, just waking up with the sunrise out here in Las Vegas, getting ready for work. I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Uh, stay the course. You know, it's not always easy. I didn't want to wake up this morning. I wanted to sleep in, but, you know, the dogs need to walk. Uh, I need to get out and get active before I get on to moving. And it's a beautiful morning out here. 
Anyway, have a good day, guys. Shoots.